What's up, you donkey grab shows? What's poppin', J Nation? I quit. <laughs> no! Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to this video. Today, we are doing a viewer submitted Would You Rather. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Mm, quit. Yes, quiet. <laughs> There's... Got some viewer ones. I picked them out. Uh, you guys are interesting. Let's say that. There was... 90% poo poo shit shit butt butt pee pee fart jokes. So I like, there's none of, most of those aren't in here, so sorry to <laughs> spoil that early, but. Get uh, funnier, okay? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's expand our humor horizon past the bodily uh, functions. Right. <laughs> fart make fun noise, me go ha ha. <laughs> oh, his butt went poot. <laughs> Alright, first up we got Kyle Vaughn. Let's go. Vaughn <laughs> says, Would you rather eat an entire pair of jeans? Or have a public rap feud against Childish Gambino. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so bizarre. It's, I love. It's such a funny. An entire. I, do, pair I think of I jeans. do a rap feud. Yeah, for uh, sure. Just because that sounds so fun. Like who? What the fuck? Why? Yeah. What, what is the <laughs> point of me having a rap feud with Bino? That's hilarious. Also, what if I'm into jeans, bro? Like, what if that's nothing to me? You're supposed to get into jeans. Here. Yeah, exactly. Well, like, what if I actually love the taste of denim? Uh, well then. I guess you could start eating Deno from there on out. Uh, yeah, I would say. You do Gambino. Jeans. Yes, Childish Gambino rap. What would be your sure. opening like song? It'd be, it'd be something like. <laughs> make like a really bad. Yeah. Rap. Right. Don't even do a metal track. You're just yeah. like, what up, Gambino? I am here to say that you're bad. Ooh, pu, stay away. <laughs> like some really bad rap. Like, see Dino, that? Why that are you would, beefing with this guy? That would probably be something viral. <laughs> All right, let's let's see what we got up next. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather scream, oh yeah? Well, I know what as he would rather do. As loud as you possibly can every single time you nut. <laughs> <laughs> or, Wait, who says I don't do that anyways? Yeah, yeah maybe this is already done. Maybe. Yeah, so like. Catch that one. <laughs> don't, don't judge me, bro. Or, every time you have to shit, it must be done at the nearest fast food oh. location available. And yes, that means you have to leave your house to go. Yeah. Um, you know, I feel like I could just have like a, a quick conversation. With with whoever I'm betting at the time, <laughs> and just be like, hey, so I have courted. this, I have this medical condition. <laughs> this oh yeah condition. I really can't help it. Um, but whenever I bust, I really have to shout, oh yeah. Are you still? Okay? Are you, is that okay with like? Is that can, fine with you? Is that fine? Like, see, I don't. Uh, I see. I'm a guy that likes the sneaky jerk. <laughs> Like, you know, a Starbucks bathroom when you're on tour or something like that. Like, so but I'm not trying to be in the bathroom going, oh yeah. You're trying to do a well, stealth no. nut. No, 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 no. Because every time you nut. But every time you shit, you got to go to the nearest. Have you gone to fast food That's bad, bathrooms? for sure. I mean, but also, I could I could hold my shit for a grip. Like, it's Until not... you go to the nearest Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. My, my, my fucking combo jerk shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can I get a water? I'll have it in a minute. Can I get the, the jerk shit I'm gonna combo? I'm going to be thirsty. Um, the jerk shit combo. I don't know, man. Like, that's so inconvenient, too. Like, it depends how much you're fucking, right? Mm -hmm. if, it's, if, you're, if you're, like, one of those, like, go get them type people, and you're, like, twice a day getting it or something, yeah. that might get old. But, like... Mm -hmm. Why did you think, too, about the repercussions of going to, like... The same nearby fast foods to right. use the restroom all the time. They're just gonna kick you out. Yeah, they're like, stop coming here, man. Yeah. Or your McDonald's <laughs> bill is gonna be through the roof. You have to keep buying a burger just so yeah. you guys can have it. Right. <laughs> Even if you it. buy one burger, that's thirty dollars a yeah, month. Yeah, maybe I do the nut, the ho yeah nut. Yeah. It'd be funny too. Yeah, I think I'm going with the ho yeah nut. <laughs> I think that's what locking it in. Locking it in. Up next, we got Seth Bentos. Ooh. Uh, would you rather be passable on guitar, bass, drums, keys, and vocals? So what? Nothing I what I already am. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to write home about, but good enough to get by. <laughs> or absolutely unbeatable on the saxophone. I'm talking unquestionably the single greatest saxophonist <laughs> in history. I, I kind of already am the first one, and I and I've You're never more than passable. Come I've on. never tried to like play the sax. My brother used to play it. Dude, I've never had a desire for it. Your brother totally looks like he would play the sax. He used to. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tough one because then I'm like, okay, well, the top of the line was saxophone, man. You're like Kenny G, or like Dave Cause, or something like that. Or Jared Dines. Or, or dude, it could be you. That could be you. I might be in like the Royal Carnegie Hall or something. Yo. That would be fun. I think I'd pick saxophonist. Yeah. Because it doesn't say you lose your musical abilities. Right. So, like, I could be, like, the world's best saxophonist that can also do, like, death growls. Yeah, stuff. right, right. That'd just be a funny combo. Like, you guys seen that saxophonist that has a death core band? Yeah. <laughs> I think being the single greatest thing 
of one thing in general is probably better yeah, than just being passable. It's pretty like, overpowered, you know, honestly. Yeah, like for sure. Maybe so. if it was like one of the best, but the greatest. The greatest, yeah. yeah. Absolutely unbeat. Like there's no mm -hmm. question. Right. It's like this guy's the goat. I've seen that goat playing that sax. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cross. Don't cross him. So would you rather slam your balls in a car door? Not that one. Or only be able to listen to music once every five years. That'd be hard because you have to listen to your own music to edit it and write it. Okay, so this, with the stipulation of slamming just one, your, just once. Okay, just once. But like, do you know? Like, are you gonna be able to have like sex after that? Have kids? Is it gonna? Are your balls gonna just fall off? Like, do I would you know the stipulation? I would imagine here? it's up to the severity of the slam. Well, a slam like, cause, is uh, hard regardless. But like, if you put it like all the way to where it's like almost closed, and then you like. Slam your so, hands okay. into it. Well, and I, it's just like it's now locked. Let, let me let me throw in a little curve here. Okay. If if it was just the pain of it, and like my balls weren't gonna explode, mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna it's lose like them. They're not gonna get it. destroyed. Mm -hmm. If it was just the pain that I dealt with for like a few days, right. I'd probably go with that because it's like okay, I know I'm gonna be okay. It's just gonna hurt. Yeah, hit him with the old Genshin impact. Now, if my balls are gonna like literally Come fucking off. burst. <laughs> yeah. And then I wouldn't, uh, no. Mm -hmm. I know. I, I like them, okay? Well, yeah, I want to keep them. That's a good point, yeah, because it, it says slam and there's no, like, it doesn't say, and then there's repercussions, so. Yeah, let's just say it's like you're, you're out for the day because yeah. <laughs> you slammed your balls in the door pretty right. hard. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably pick that one given that I don't lose my testes. Also, if you were only able to listen to music once every five years, imagine that That's time tough. that you did listen to it would be the most actual, like, oh yeah, nut experience. Or it would be so sad and, like, depressing of, like, but it would almost be through, like, you'd be like, <laughs> this is all I get for another <laughs> five fucking but years. But you would prep for it, dude, think about it. Like, like, like you could get, you know, just high as hell. And what does once mean? Like, until you fall asleep? Or like, like it's just like, what if like, maybe like split, one day like every five years. Like the song ends and I'm just like, no, I didn't start the next song fast yeah. enough. I'm just, you that's could, it. You'd have every five years have a huge party with your homies mm -hmm. and just blast music all day long. That would right. be some like Remember memory. Yeah, that's a good memorable point. Yeah, once every five years my homie has a music yeah. party and he cries because he's never heard music for it's five years. It's the most spiritual thing we've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. like, I would probably go with that. that I mean, that's a good idea. You can make that into something super you cool. Could. You could. You always gotta look at the bright side of mm -hmm. things. I don't think there's a bright side of slamming your balls in a car Yeah, door. plus like, if anybody sees that, that's so, like, you're, yeah, why'd you do that? Right. Like, oh, is this or no music? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> it's so insane of you to say. All right. Up next, we got another John David Sutton. Hell yeah. S Sutton? Sutton. It's the Sultan. <laughs> Would you rather never have to sleep again, or every time you go to sleep, you have the best eight hours of sleep ever and wake up feeling great? You know how much shit you could get done if you never, never had to sleep? Now, would you just have good energy, or would you be like the most tired human in the world? Probably, probably like your energy would be fine. I don't think, I don't, I think in this specific scenario, like, the sleep deprivation doesn't hit you. Like, you're just... Right. The only thing that would happen is, like, mental fatigue of, like... Because that would probably get pretty crazy of... Because, like, yeah, I'm sure that going to sleep is, the, like, a big reason most people don't kill themselves. Right. Like, being able to not be alive for eight hours <laughs> and waking up and being like, oh, actually, I'm pretty glad I'm alive. I'm still here because... Being not here for eight hours was pretty weird. <laughs> yeah. I mean, getting good sleep does feel really nice. Right. For and sure. never being able to get that again. But. Or like falling asleep with like a partner or something. You just like, no, I'll just wait here. I feel like you could get <laughs> so much done. Yeah, you would be the most productive person. But you would have to have that work ethic. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you probably would just go crazy. Yeah. If you weren't busy all the time. I mean, at some point, I feel like you'd be forced into going to working hard just yeah. because you would go crazy. And yeah. Like, okay, I can't sit here for another 24 hours and do nothing. Like, exactly. This is literally prison at this point. <laughs> Can I do a, a test trial of like a month of God, no sleep just crazy. to see what it would be like and right. then go from there? No, yeah, no, you wouldn't need caffeine anymore for yeah. anything. You just. Because I feel like, yeah. I don't know, I feel like as long as I was really busy all the time and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I had great energy, and that's the thing. If if you were like, oh, you can't sleep, you'll be like really tired all the time. Then fuck that. Yeah. Obviously, I'd want the best eight hours of sleep. But in this case, I feel like. I had also, too, I didn't even think about it. It says every time you go to sleep. So even if you like take a nap, like you're going to sleep for eight hours. What if you don't want to <laughs> yeah, sleep for eight, eight hours? hours? You just want to take fuck. a nap. I'm so, I'm so tight now. I gotta fight through it. I'm gonna sleep for eight hours. <laughs> yeah. Or like I I'm up late all the time. So like I don't want to go to bed at six a.m. and wake up eight hours later. Yeah. Like that's not fun. Right. Sometimes I just want like a four hour sleep. Yeah. Like, 
life. So yeah, dude, probably they'll never sleep again. Yeah, same. I feel like you could, and you could probably zen out. Like you could probably meditate, meditate. or like get a runner's high. Like yeah. there's probably a lot of things like this, like uh, the deprivation tanks, right. like something to simulate yeah. being in that like disassociated yeah. somehow. That was a fun one. I've never thought about something like that. About, yeah. Like he is the Sultan after all. <laughs> <laughs> like the Sultan is named John. It's like, hey, Aladdin, it's me, John Smith, the Sultan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joseph Evan Tabber says, Would you rather lick the contacts of a 30 amp circuit breaker and survive with severe slash permanent damage? Uh, or kill an adorable litter of kittens in front of a kid while also in front of a considerably sized audience that already has their cell phones in hand. So... Do you have, like, a kid on stage with you? <laughs> and then on, they're all kid watching. On hand, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. You're like, tell, you're like, sit down, watch. Well, well if, if you do that, I mean, you're just... Your entire career, everything is done. Mm -hmm. People are going to hate you for the rest of your life. Right. And, like, what if you, you like, might as well be permanently damaged. What if you, what if you damaged. get away with it legally, though? Right. I'm just like, saying, like... people still like, hate you morally, but, right. like, legally, you're, you're okay. Like, you're, he, like, he had to do it. Like, yeah. what if, like, what if everyone knew it was this or he dies? Right, right. So right. you're like, well, fuck that guy, but, like, I get that. But also, like, you, like, I don't, I don't like... You killed 12 of them. Yeah. <laughs> an, an, an adorable yeah. litter of kittens. You killed um, a baker's dozen of cats. Well, like, severe permanent... I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I guess i go with that one, just because, like... Yeah, what does that mean, though? Severe I don't even know permanent. if I could kill a kitten in general, <laughs> let alone <laughs> in front of a kid, in front of a well, considerably-sized audience with cell phones yeah. in their hand. Which cat do you think would be the hardest out of, like... Let's say there's five cats to kill. How am I... How do I... Like, which one's the hardest to kill? Probably like, the first one. The first one. Getting yeah. that one. I feel like the second one would, would be the one that gets me the Well, because I feel like once you're... It's like anything. Once you get in the motion, it's like... Mm. You're just like, okay. All right. You know, you just kind of like... <laughs> you, you get You get like a... Just popping their heads Yeah, up. you get like a flow going, you know? But until you get the flow going, it's a little shocking, you know? Yeah. I guess the first one probably would be a little bad because I'd probably fuck it up initially. And, and the kid would just horrible. be the Antichrist. He'd yeah, just he'd grow up to be like that. the worst kid imaginable. It'd be the next Ted Bundy or something. Yeah, I'd probably just do the... Also, why are all these people filming it and not stopping me? Right. And you're... Because you're <laughs> oh, on no, it. Oh, no, he's going right. to kill all five of those cats, <laughs> like one by one. What are we going to do? <laughs> no one does anything. Yeah, I'd probably look the circuit breaker. I don't think... Yeah. I don't think you could recover, like you said, publicly or right. morally. Mentally. Yeah, yeah, from doing that. Right. Okay, up next we got Nard. Oh yeah, Nard, let's go. He says, would you rather speak only in corn scats or speak only in gutturals for the rest of your life? I mean, we do that all the time anyway. Also, corn scats. Don't look that up on the... <laughs> <laughs> you look kind of really gross website. <laughs> corn scats or gutturals? Um... Probably corn scats. That's pretty funny. Your gutturals would just be jarring and annoying to everyone. The corn scats, one out of every 70 people will be like, Haha, that's fucking awesome. But then if you have to hold a conversation... I'm not gonna go to the store and then buy some fucking Gatorade and... <laughs> right, I feel like no one would want to hang out with you unless you're like around a or bunch of crackheads or something. Or be funny like you check yourself. This guy yeah. has to do this. Ask him anything. <laughs> <laughs> the weather's predicted to die. <laughs> um, or was fuck. it a guttural? Like people won't even understand you. Half the yeah, time. true. What is <laughs> it? I just, I never mind. Yeah, just, I don't want. Both are so Maybe jarring. Like, Mm -hmm. I feel like they would have the same effect. But the corn yeah. one, people would be like, oh, corn, at least the first time. Yeah, the corn one's yeah, probably easier to do. Because it doesn't say you have to talk a lot. Mm -hmm. You could kind of like. Be very brief. Open down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brief little exactly. <laughs> right. You could you could bring a notepad and write on it. Oh, that's a good point. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just like never speak. I would but corn scats probably. <laughs> just because gutturals would be so hard corn to scats. understand. Yeah. And people would just be like, "This guy's have a really low voice. Like, I don't understand." Uh, yeah, I think the corn scats would be super fun. Yeah. Corn scats locking lock it, it in. in. Final answer. That was a fun one, Nard. Nard. Ryan Barker says. Would you rather bust open a knuckle on the rim of your snare drum every show for a month or get snapped by a broken guitar string every show? I've basically done both. <laughs> every In show. like rest repose, <laughs> the knuckle one on the snare, because I would get so into it, I would never notice. Mm -hmm. And then I would like... You, oh my god, you did all the time because it kept busting the same wound yeah, open. Yeah, every, almost every show. And oh, I would yeah. get down and there'd be blood on the snare and I'd be like, oh shit. So like that wasn't that bad. That's pretty metal too. I mean, get snapped by a broken guitar string though. Like guitar strings don't 
like snap and like yeah, smack like you. They just go mm -hmm. and they fall. So it's like that's not really that realistic. Ow. But the guitar string's more annoying yeah. because you have to like redo it every fucking show. grab a new guitar or like mm -hmm. yeah redo your guitar. What if you're ripping like a sick solo? Because like if you oh, hit your knuckle, not timed. It, you still keep playing. Yeah. But if you're like doing a sick solo uh. and then like. <laughs> That sucks. Shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I would probably because I because I've already literally done this on tour uh -huh. many nights in a row, uh, hitting my knuckle on the snare drum. And when you're amped up, you don't even feel it. Yeah. You just look down later and you're like, oh, I got a like, I got a cut. Why yeah. All bloody? I got a cut on my finger. Mm -hmm. and it, probably that one because it's not that bad when you're in the when you're in the zone of the <laughs> right. show. You pull your 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 drum set in close and you go. Beep, beep. <laughs> Is it that time of month? <laughs> I could go to the store for you. Later. I'm sorry I hit you. Won't happen again. You mean the world to me, baby. <laughs> but don't ever undermine me again. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. I'll never find anyone like me. Do not ever talk down to me. <laughs> I love that voice. Uh, shout out Oni Plays. Michael Kingsbury says, Would you rather smell a fart wherever, whenever you hear music? <laughs> Only hear a guy screaming in your ear every time you drive your car. <laughs> Holy shit! This is a funny one. <laughs> That's like when you're. That'd be oh, like oh, when oh, you're. Ah! <laughs> the second that your car turns on. Dude, that'd be so annoying. If you wait, can you can it only you hear the guy? I assume. So like if you're Let's driving just say, other people, yeah. you're just like. Ah! Right. Yeah, because otherwise you'd never drive with anyone. You'd be like, what uh, the fuck is that? Oh, uh, you know, the smell of fart one could be funny because everyone would just think you're listening to something super heavy. You're just like... Yeah, right? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's deep. Well, and that's like, okay, I will say if you're... <laughs> if every time you listen to music, like, the whole group smelled fart, <laughs> that would be a little weird. But if it was just you, it'd be like, whatever, I can deal with hey, this. Man, if you pause this song, it fucking stinks. <laughs> I think I'm the first person to ever say that. So. <laughs> the screaming one would be so jarring, and that'd be so because like you drive in a car for like mm -hmm. 20 minutes or an hour, you know what I mean? Like just right. constant. Ah! But dude, plus if you ever have to go to like the store or like a work commute at like super early in the morning, right. and you're just like out of it, and you forget. Like yeah. that's gonna ruin your day. Well, imagine <laughs> so if you're driving to your grandma's here. funeral, and you're just okay, like then, having then, the worst then. day, and you're just like. <laughs> Like the whole time, like no, that'd be awful. <laughs> no, I, I would just you know. You're done. <laughs> smell <laughs> fart, man. Just live with it, you know. Hey, brother, man, don't know Sam. I'd pick fart too. <laughs> <laughs> Henry Rollings. Oh shit. Why? Why? You're almost famous. <laughs> would you rather never be able to listen to your favorite album again, or never be able to see your favorite band live again? Probably the live one, because you see yeah, your favorite band live maybe once a year. Twice a year, because it depending on how often they mm -hmm. come through, and it's like okay. Yeah, but you could listen. But to you could still listen forever. to it every day. And you used to watch a, like a video, right? Like I would, yeah. You just can't see them live. You would get so one. much more distance out With of listening to the album mm -hmm. all the time instead of you know the live band. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I thought that would be more of a more. Because you can still go to live right? shows, you just can't see your favorite <laughs> band. <laughs> yeah, if they're headlining, but yeah. hey, gotta check out guys. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> But you love these guys. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, I gotta I, go. It's a funny story. You think, you think, you think I'd want to stay. <laughs> I physically can't. I'll oh, yeah, turn into stardust if I stay. It's a whole thing. I've got donkey brains. I gotta go. <laughs> uh, I'd want to listen to my favorite album, yeah. so I would take not do the you second do, one. You would do the second one. Right. <laughs> red, that. Red pill, blue pill. <laughs> Uh, Patrick Ross Bear Roseberry shit Damn. says, would you rather constantly belch while talking or have self-inflating whoopee cushions for butt cheeks? Um, the butt cheeks, I think. <laughs> the butt cheeks. Because, like, Dude, constantly yeah. belch while talking? No is... one's going to be your friend. No one. You're but, like, like oh. hey, I gotta have a, I got to sit down. You just right. sit, and then you sit there for half an hour. Like... <laughs> Because they, they won't, and they self inflate. They self inflate, right? but that doesn't necessarily mean while you're sitting. Right. Maybe it does. I don't know. We'll have to hit up Patrick and see. <laughs> but like, if you're sitting and they're just constantly rising, and then eventually, that even so that's funny. less annoying than being like, <laughs> 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 oh my god, I'm you know, like, 
No, fuck that. Dude, yeah, literally Justin Roiland stopped doing that, like, after, like, the first two episodes. Yeah. Because he's like, it's just, it's too yeah, much. It's I too can't much. keep doing that. Everyone hate you. <laughs> be like, shut up, dude. That wasn't funny in 2017. Right. It's not funny now. Right. Self-inflating butt cheeks. Yeah, that's, that's, pretty, that's just funny, too. Like, if you're like, gaming or, like, editing, you're just sitting down and you just forgot. And they're just like, <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, have self, I have butt cheeks that are whoopies. It's a weird medical condition. Don't worry about it. Sage Dawson says, would you rather live in a world, in a world, without world. guitar, or a world without drums? Hmm, probably in a world without drums. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I've heard people... You could smack a, a guitar. You can make a guitar sing. <laughs> oh yeah, you can, yeah, you can play percussion on a guitar. Well, it just says drums. Like, you could, you could do synthesized sounding oh, beats. Oh yeah, like beats you could have You could have a djembe. That's a good point. You could have a bongo, but guitar you, you would like be a, like... Just to your hands, you know, acapella, just record that. Obviously, I'm gonna say guitar, because that's my main <laughs> thing, but... Yeah, well, I just think you'd be at you, like you just said, you can... It's harder to replicate a guitar sound than it is to replicate percussive, like, motions, you know? Right, right. Bro, your desktop scares me dude there's so much crap on your desktop yeah. there's like 900 mm -hmm. things on your desktop they're all important <laughs> 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 The drums one was the last one. Drums are just sorry, drummers. You're fucking. You're replaceable. I mean, no, no one records real drums <laughs> no anymore, anyways. Sheesh, he's got a point. So you're already getting replaced. Damn. Suck it. One less dude to pay. First it was rhythm guitarists, now it's drummers. Damn, they oh, don't just need a vocalist, that's it. And dude, even then, there's like, you can vocode shit and make a yeah, band out of it. That's true. And then you just got a robot making music at that point. <laughs> it's just replaced human connection. That's the future. Hey man, AI, will, you, will you come do my show this weekend? <laughs> I am playing human music. <laughs> It's a retro throwback. Tonight's concert will be headlined at Snoop Dogg's house in the metaverse. Stop, <laughs> dude. You too will be uh, there. Bono will be performing. Once everyone's super... Robo Bono. Nobody <laughs> will be. Cue kick-ass music, bro. And, a, and fire. And like a, and like a dragon. Oh, dude. Whoa. I really, I really want to smell that fart when the music plays. Fart! Alright, thanks for watching. Shout out. <laughs> Billy Mays. Yo, he's dead, bro. That's fucking, that's fucked up. Why would you shout out a dead guy? I'm trying to raise him from the dead, bro. Well, I'm trying to kill Steve Harvey. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, what well, Thank you. Fucking go, get, get, get out of here, man. Okay, did you turn it off? <laughs>